The Theban legion also known as the Martyrs of Agonum figures in Christian hagiography as an entire Roman legion of 6,666 men who had converted en masse to Christianity and were martyred together. In 286, according to the hagiographies of Saint Maurice, the chief among the legion saints. Their feast day is held on September 22. The account Topic. According to Eucarius of Lyon, ca. 443–450, the legion was the garrison of the city of Thebes in Egypt. The legion were quartered in the east until the emperor Maximian ordered them to march to Gaul, to assist him against the rebels of Burgundy. The Theban legion was commanded in its march by Saint Maurice Mauritius, Candidus, Innocent, and Exuperius, all of whom are venerated as saints. At Saint Maurice, Switzerland, then called Agonum, the orders were given—since the legion had refused to sacrifice to the emperor—to decimate it by putting to death a tenth of its men. This act was repeated until none were left. According to a letter written about 450 by Eucarius, Bishop of Lyon, bodies identified as the martyrs of Agonum were discovered by Theodore Theodulus, the first historically identified bishop of Octodorum, who was present at the Council of Achilleia, 381 and died in 391. The basilica he built in their honor attracted the pilgrim trade, its remains can still be seen, part of the abbey begun in the early 6th century on land donated by King Sigismund of Burgundy. The earliest surviving document describing the holy martyrs who have made Agonum illustrious with their blood is the letter of Eucarius, which describes the succession of witnesses from the martyrdom to his time, a span of about 150 years. The bishop had made the journey to Agonum himself, and his report of his visit multiplied a thousandfold the standard formula of the martyrologies. We often hear, do we not, a particular locality or city is held in high honor because of one single martyr who died there, and quite rightly, because in each case the saint gave his precious soul to the Most High God. How much more should this sacred place, Agonum, be reverenced, where so many thousands of martyrs have been slain, with the sword, for the sake of Christ? As with many hagiographies, Eucarius's letter to Bishop Salvius reinforced an existing pilgrimage site. Many of the faithful were coming from diverse provinces of the empire, according to Eucarius, devoutly to honor these saints, and important for the Abbey of Agonum to offer presents of gold, silver and other things. He mentions many miracles, such as casting out of devils and other kinds of healing, which the power of the Lord works there every day through the intercession of his saints. In the late 6th century, Gregory of Tours was convinced of the miraculous powers of the Theban legion, though he transferred the event to Cologne, where there was an early cult devoted to Maurice and the Theban legion. At Cologne there is a church in which the fifty men from the Holy Theban legion are said to have consummated their martyrdom for the name of Christ. And because the church, with its wonderful construction and mosaics, shines as if somehow gilded, the inhabitants prefer to call it the Church of the Golden Saints. Once Eberigasilus, who was at the time Bishop of Cologne, was racked with severe pains in half his head. He was then in a villa near a village. Eberigasilus sent his deacon to the Church of the Saints. Since there was said to be in the middle of the church a pit into which the saints were thrown together after their martyrdom, the deacon collected some dust there and brought it to the bishop. As soon as the dust touched Eberigasilus' head, immediately all pain was gone. The tale of steadfast conduct and faith was embroidered in later retellings and figured in the golden legend of Jacobus de Voragine and was included among the persecution of Christians detailed in John Fox's 1583 Acts and Monuments, an early Protestant stand by, accounts of the moral inculcated by the exemplum of the Theban legion resonate with the immediate culture of each teller. The miraculous wholehearted unanimity of the legion to the last individual, was downplayed by Hugo Grotius, for whom the moral of the Theban legion was employed to condemn atrocities committed under military orders. For Donald O. Riley, an apologist for the historicity of the account in 1978, it was, "...the moral issue of organized violence." <laughs> Interpretations. Topic. The bay is the proper name of one particular military unit, the Legio I Maximiana, also known as Maximiana Thaborum, recorded in the Notitia Dignitatum, according to Samir F. Gurgis, writing in the Coptic Encyclopedia, there were two legions bearing the name, Theban. 
Both of them formed by Diocletian sometime after the organization of the original Egyptian legion, stationed at Alexandria. It is not certain which of these was transferred from Egypt to Europe in order to assist Maximian in Gaul. The monastic accounts themselves do not specifically state that all the soldiers were collectively executed. An 11th century monk named Otto of Frazing wrote that most of the legionaries escaped, and only some were executed. It is possible that the legion was simply divided during Diocletian. S reorganization of units breaking up legions of 6000 men to create smaller units of 1000 and that some of the soldiers had been executed and that this was where the story of the legion s destruction originated from Henri Leclerc suggests that it is quite possible that an incident at Aganum may have had to do not with a legion, but with a simple detachment. Johann Mosch, after comparing information from the various chronicles on the events and geography of the martyrdoms of the legionaries, concluded that only a single cohort was martyred at Aganum. The remainder of the cohorts battalion-sized units of which there were ten to a legion were either on the march or already stationed along the Roman road that ran from Liguria through Turin and Milan, then across Alps and down the Rhine to Colonia Agrippinensis Cologne, L., de Praz and Paul Muller, by examining the military titles and ranks of the legionnaires and thereby determining the total number of soldiers involved, estimated that the Thebans martyred at Aganum consisted of but one cohort whose number did not exceed 520 men. Thus the execution of an entire cohort is equivalent to decimation of a legion. Topic: <inaudible> Historicity. Topic: Dennis van Bircham of the University of Geneva proposed that Eucarius presentation of the legend of the Theban legion was a literary production not based on a local tradition. David Woods, professor of classics at the University College Cork, alleges that the model of Maurice and the Theban Legion based on Eucarius of Lyon's letter was a complete fiction. The strength of the account is based on the historical reputation for the first monks in the Christian tradition, the hermits of the Egyptian desert known as the Desert Fathers, and the almost fanatical Christian following they inspired during the first two centuries. The most famous of the Desert Fathers was Anthony the Great. The persecution of high-ranking Christian nobility under Emperor Valerian following his edict in 258 and the purge of Christians from the military from 284 through 299 under Emperor Diocletian indicate that noncompliance with emperor worship was the common method for detecting Christian soldiers and eventually executing them. Donald F. O. Riley argues that evidence from coins, papyrus, and Roman army lists supports the story of the Theban legion. A papyrus dated in the sixth year of our Lord the Emperor Caesar Marcus Aurelius Probus Pius Augustus, to be 16, the 13th of January 282 CE, shows rations which would sustain a legion for about three months to be delivered to Panopolis to the mobilized soldiers and sailors. Coins from Alexandria from the same time period were minted in a style used only when troops for a new legion were leaving port. During the trial of the martyr Maximilian, it was noted that there were Christians serving in the Roman army, and the existence of Theban Christian legionnaires in the same units as mentioned in the Notitia Dignitatum was shown. Henri Leclerc also notes that the account of Eucarius has many excellent qualities, historical as well as literary. L. Dupas countered Denis van Bircham. S. assertion by sifting through the stories, carefully matching them with archaeological discoveries at Aganum, thus concluding that the martyrdom is historical and that the relics of the martyrs were brought to Aganum between 286 and 392 through the office of the Bishop Theodore. Dora Ruinart, Paul Allard, and the editors of the Analecta Bolandiana are of opinion that the martyrdom of the legion, attested, as it is by ancient and reliable evidence, cannot be called in question by any honest mind. Topic. Saints associated with the Theban Legion Topic. Topic. Gallery Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Catholic Encyclopedia. Aganum
Martyrs of the Theban Legion, in Switzerland at Agonim, Solothurn, Zurich, Zerzache, in Italy at Bergamo, Turin, Piacenza, in the Cotian Alps, Pinerolo, Milion, Ventimiglia, in Germany at Trier, Bonn, Cologne, Xanten David Woods, The Origin of the Cult of Saint. Maurice In Italian Legione Tabia references to and images of all of the saints associated with the Theban Legion. <laughs> 